ready for three, two, four. It's live from last week, episode 43. Let's, Let's go! go. Welcome, my fellow tree walkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. Just want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So I'm here in the industrial part of Vaughan on a beautiful sunny day. Basically because I bought a Groupon. We are getting my baby mini detailed at Detail Monkeys. So this is a shout out to you Dustin. We're taking care of your baby mini. Taking some before pictures of this engine. Sand from the beach, sand in the crevices. Grease stains. I don't know what these things are. Dust stains. All right. Bye, Mini. See you in three hours. Beep. So after I dropped off the Mini and said bye to it before I got its makeover, I took a 20 minute walk to a nearby Ikea to pass some time. And the cool thing that I didn't know about before was that if you have an Ikea family card, you could actually go to the Ikea restaurant, present your card, and get a free coffee or tea. And I was able to sip on that tea for about three hours while, you guessed it, editing some live from last week videos. So yeah, I was just there in the corner just typing away, editing, 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 until I got a phone call saying that my mini was done. And after I picked it up and inspected the mini. Wow. Yeah, right? <laughs> I took her on a drive all the way down to Yorkdale and decided this was a great time to go and visit my cousin. Bye, Warma. Bye, thanks for visiting me. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> P.S. Thanks again, Warma, for doing the intro for Live From Last Week for this week's episode. And yeah, since a couple of my friends were born on this day, we do have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to Diane. Happy birthday, Diane. I'm remembering the first time I met you and the family when I visited the Philippines a couple years back, as well as going on that island hopping tour and modeling in front of the camera. Anyways, Diane, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. And now for my second birthday greeting of the day, and this one goes out to one of my Ryerson friends, Paul. Happy birthday, Paul. I'm remembering when we were in university at the nursing games, competing in Montreal with all our colleagues. And I also wanted to let you know that you're an inspiration for me. Showcasing videos of your feats of strength, as well as your personal best in weightlifting. Anyways, Paul, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday as well. So today was pretty much a chill day. But what I decided to do was that since my car was cleaned out yesterday, I decided to take some time to put back all the accessories that I took out the day before and put them back today. install these new door dampeners that hopefully minimizes the sound when we slam the door shut. So check this out and let me know if they actually work. One, two. So what do you guys think? Any difference? This evening, I also stayed at home to watch the Team Canada national soccer team play against Panama. And I watched my favorite player on that team, Alfonso Davies, show up to the game with this highlight. And P.S. 
Keep your eyes on the guy with the yellow shoes. The guy ran 80 yards to get that goal. But yeah, anyways, the good guys came out on top. And tonight, we won 4-1. to one. Also, earlier tonight, I made a spontaneous buy. So evidently, before October 14th, Blue Mountain is selling their 5x7 pass for an early bird rate. And in order to take advantage of that price, guess who just recently bought a 5x7 pass? This guy. So yeah guys, when the slopes open, let me know if you have a Blue Mountain Pass. And maybe this winter, we'll be able to go snowboarding or skiing together. And by the way, yesterday, I also saw a motivational post from one of my friends, who is down to set up a 100 push-ups a day challenge, where you do 100 push-ups a day for 30 days. And I've decided to take up this challenge, mainly because I need a little bit of guidance getting back on track with doing my own 100 push-ups a day challenge. And I guess I better do my 100 push-ups before I go to bed tonight. So guys, this morning I woke up hella early. And as you can tell by my poofy face, I did not want to get up. And as you can tell outside, it was still dark. But anyways, the fiance needed an Uber driver to drive her to work this morning. So, in order to wake up for my drive this morning, I turned on the party lights in the Mini Cooper to get the energy flowing and to get my eyes open for the commute. And a nice beautiful thing came out of this commute after I dropped off the fiance. I got to drive over the Prince Edward Viaduct Bridge and got to look at the cotton candy skies that the sunrise was bringing out. Plus, I headed over to this place, the Chester Hill Lookout known for its scenic views and awesome autumn colors. Stayed a couple of minutes there, and this is what happened. So I'm at the Toronto famous Chester Hill Lookout, and I want you guys to check out what kind of view we've got this morning. Beautiful view. I mean, look at this. Honestly, I can't wait to come back here in a week or two to check out what kind of autumn colors will appear from this view. And yeah, I forgot to mention to you guys that in the next three out of the four nights, I'm going in for some night shifts starting with tonight. But before I go to work, I have a couple birthday greetings for you guys today. I got a birthday greeting for my Manung Richard. Happy birthday, Manung Richard. I'm remembering the times that you would come and visit the family here in Toronto. And I also got to admit that I enjoy seeing your posts of traveling as well as cycling. Anyways, Manung Richard, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday. And for the second birthday greeting I have is for a former FCAR friend of mine, Angelica. Happy birthday, Angelica. I'm remembering back in the times in your university days seeing you at the FSAT events to the present day where I'm appreciating seeing your travel posts as well as your basketball posts. Anyways, Angelica, I hope you're doing well. See you're still playing sports and keeping active and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. So after a nice restful post night shift nap, I just have a little surprise for a nice, young, beautiful couple. Something that I've been working on for over 10 weeks now. And although I've been a couple months behind, here's that surprise for you guys. But you came and you turned all my days from dark to light. Now I see you and me to the end of all.
Anyways, Anna and Edler, I hope that video brought back great memories from your wedding. And I'm hoping that soon we can all get together again and relive some of those great memories from your wedding. And speaking of great memories, I have a couple of birthday shout outs for you guys today. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to one of my former co-workers, Susan. Happy birthday, Susan. I'm remembering the good times working with you years ago. From when you first started on the unit, to our many social outings including Christmas parties, as well as having fun at your wedding a couple years back. Anyway, Susan, those are great times shared. But for now, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy with your family at this time, and I'm hoping that you had an amazing birthday. And next, for my second birthday greeting, I have a birthday shout out for one of my other former co-workers, Ainsley. Happy birthday, Ainsley. I'm remembering times working with you back in the day at BVG and helping you rest and recover every so often when you aren't feeling well back at the health center. Anyways, Ainsley, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday as well. And last but not least, I have a birthday greeting for one of my friends who's no longer with us. And this birthday shout out goes out to one of my childhood friends, Lauren. Happy birthday, Lauren. I'm remembering our times cherished back when we were students at Mother Teresa and Good Shepherd, as well as going to skating lessons with you and your family back in the day. Anyways, Lauren, I know you're watching over us with that beautiful smile of yours. And just know that we're still thinking about you on your birthday. But yeah, before I go in for my second of my two night shifts tonight, I just gotta quickly do my 100 daily push-ups before I go to work. And I'll just see you guys again tomorrow. So after pretty much sleeping less than three hours post night shift, the fiance and I decided to get up after our midday nap. And we were also feeling Vietnamese food. So we went and got takeout at one of our favorite Vietnamese places, Spring and Fresh Rolls. A place that was featured in previous Lab From Last Week videos. So what did we order you ask? We got some delicious, hot, freshly served pho, spring rolls, and another Vietnamese dish with some vermicelli noodles. And if you guys haven't heard of this restaurant, I highly recommend it. But anyways, after we had that delicious dinner, and I dropped off the fiancé at work for a night shift this evening, I went back to a local winner's where the fiancé and I visited earlier in the evening and saw that there was this product that I really wanted. And on purpose, I didn't buy this specific product and I left it there, mainly because I didn't want the fiancé to find out that I was buying it while she was there. So yeah, like I said, I went back to that winner's, found that it was still on the shelf, and decided to buy it. But yeah, check out what happened after I purchased it and brought it back to the mini. It's nice and all, but the only thing is, there's no tripod part that was included in the box for this selfie light. But it's all good because I still got a ring light for only 11 bucks. Now that I've got a ring light, it looks like I'm going to be able to do more nighttime vlogs from the mini. And if you guys haven't noticed, I'm using that exact same ring light right now while I'm recording this video. But yeah, anyways, before we wrap it up for the night, I just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to one of my friends that I haven't seen in a long time. Ray, happy birthday, Ray. I'm remembering a long time ago, over a decade now, when we went on that ski trip with all the Filipinos up in Blue Mountain and first meeting you there and going snowboarding with you. Anyways, Ray, hope you're doing well at this time, staying healthy, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday. And now for my second birthday shout out of the day, I have a birthday greeting to Kevin. Happy birthday, Kevin. I'm remembering a long time ago going to a holiday party with Indy and meeting you for the first time there. And you complimenting me on how I was burning up the dance floor to the times at your wedding when you also showed off that you had some dance moves of your own. Anyways, Kevin, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Say hi to Indy for me, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. So I'm just chilling here on a side street on an early Sunday morning, using my brand new ring light that I bought last night. And after getting up after only four hours of sleep last night, we're picking up the fiance, because as you know it, it's Let Your Fiance Drive Sundays. So unfortunately today, the fiance didn't want to drive home from work this morning. But hopefully next week, we'll try again so that she can get some driving practice in before the winter weather comes. But anyways, before I go in for my third night shift in four nights tonight, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First, I want to wish a happy birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends, Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. I remember hanging out with you and your brother back in the day when we were neighbors back in Curtis. And I'm also remembering that you were pretty talented competing in dance competitions as well. Anyway, Sarah, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. 
And now for my second birthday shout out, before I go in for work, I have a birthday greeting for Patrick. Happy birthday, Patrick. I remember you playing solid defense while I was keeper playing for DQ in House League, as well as you being an all around solid athlete when we were kids. Anyways, Patrick, hope you're doing great, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had an amazing birthday as well. So after my pretty rare steady night shift last night, and after picking up the fiance and driving home this morning, on the DVP, we saw this amazingly huge, beautiful rainbow. And I know that these videos don't do it justice, but it literally encompassed the whole sky. And keeping on the topic of things that are beautiful, we got some beautiful people that were born on this day, for which I have some birthday greetings for. So first, wanted to wish a happy birthday greeting to Jordan. Happy birthday, Jordan. Although it's been a while since we last saw each other and hung out at Ryerson, I wanted to say that I really enjoy checking out your YouTube channel and those very entertaining unboxing videos of yours. Anyways, Jordan, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday. And for my second birthday greeting for today, I have a birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends, Nicole. Happy birthday, Nicole. I'm remembering the times going to high school music class with you in Miss Ainsworth's class. And also going and performing at Wonderland, where somehow you convinced me to ride the behemoth roller coaster for the first time. Anyways, Nicole, it's been a while. Hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy out there. And I'm hoping that you had a great birthday. And last but not least, I've got a birthday greeting to my cousin, Erica. Happy birthday, Warby. I'm always remembering the times that we competed in the Flip Olympics together. As well as you being the first Flip Olympics athlete to win in the rookie season. Anyways, Warby, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. And I'm hoping that you're enjoying Niagara Falls for your birthday this year. So after taking a nice post-night shift nap this morning, the fiancé and I went to Yorkdale Mall to check out a couple of stores before visiting our Tito Ken in Mississauga. Next, we visited our Tito Ken and checked out the dogs that he always talks about. And although I'm allergic to dogs in general, I got some nice up-close and personal time petting them before my allergies kicked in. But yeah, now I'm here chilling in Mississauga because we're going to head out early tomorrow morning to check out Blue Mountain. Mainly because I bought these play all day passes a couple of days ago. So tomorrow morning we're going to go up to the resort, see what those play all day passes are all about. And I'm hoping that for next week's episode, you guys will check it out to see what kind of adventures we got up to. But anyways guys, it looks like we've come up to the end of this week's episode. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.